The death of Gina Massa Amini, a young woman who was killed in police custody after her arrest for not wearing a hijab in public, has triggered the biggest protest in Iran since 2019 and has sparked sweeping demonstrations internationally. From Amsterdam to Toronto, men and women have taken to the streets of major cities asking for the end of the repressive Islamic regime and Sharia law, a code that severely limits women's freedom and requires them to cover their hair and wear loose-fitting clothes in public. Our land is a cage. We are with you. We feel like a bird in a cage. We can't do anything. We see what's happening, but we can't do anything but raise our voice. Standing with the Iranian women, the international community is raising its voice against a fundamentalist regime which heavily restricts women's rights and against its armed wing, the morality police, that punishes whoever is not complying. But above all, people of all nations are fighting for the freedom of choice that every woman in Iran and in the world must have. I believe that women and men should be equal in Iran, just like in anywhere else in the world. This is how justice will be done. The United Nations strongly condemned Iran's use of violence and its denial of fundamental rights, and it has called for an impartial inquiry into Amini's death. It's a revolution that has started with the murder of a young Iranian woman, and it will not end so easily. From Amsterdam to Toronto, and even in Tehran, it is now clear that if a woman dies defending her rights, the world will not stand still.